Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 8th Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the different paintbrush blending modes. Now I would recommend that this technique is used more for kind of drawing things from scratch rather than touching up photos or anything like that um, because the, for touching up your photos there's a lot better techniques using layers and dodge and burn and things like that. So I generally use the paintbrush blending modes that I'm going to show you more for when I'm drawing something completely from fresh. Uh, what I want to do is show you the technical aspects of it uh, so that you understand exactly what I'm doing with my blending modes. So this is a very similar concept to how your blending modes work in layers with your drop down down here, uh, except in your brush you've got your blending mode options in here. So, so far I've just been using normal, uh, which just creates me a normal line like this. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the same three main blending modes I showed you before, so multiply, screen, and overlay. And they do very similar things with our brushes. So, on normal, I'm just going to draw, and it's just going to give me a kind of completely opaque viewing surface, it's going to go to the colour that I want. And if I change my blending mode to multiply, it's going to do something slightly different. So every time I click my mouse, it's going to darken the, the whatever I'm overwriting. Uh, it's also going to desaturate it a bit, so as I go further and further, it's going to get closer and closer to black. Uh, so uh, the more I paint, the more I'm going to get the more everything's going to get darker. Uh, and this can be really useful and uh, it's a lot better than just having a flat colour and having to keep changing colour. Because if you want to just make something look kind of shaded, then you just keep going over it and over it. With the reverse to this, we've got screen. So remember that this lightens up our layers when we use it in our blending mode on the layers. This is going to have a similar effect. So uh, if I start drawing over here, you'll see it's going to lighten up what I'm drawing on. And it's going to, again, it's going to decrease the saturation, so it's going to move it closer and closer to white. And then you see the first click makes it just go to the normal colour on these, and then as we do more, gets closer and closer to white. Uh, so just switch back to multiply. If I do this on here, then you see it's going to go darker and darker and darker again. Uh, then the other one I want to show you is the overlay. Now what this does is kind of the opposite. So where this one was light, making it lighter and this one's making it darker, this one's going to make it closer to the colour that you've got selected. So if I go here, it's going to darken the side that's light and it's going to lighten the side that's dark. Uh, and then eventually it's going to get to the colour that I'm doing it. It's going to be increasing the saturation, so it's going to make it a lot brighter. But you see, any dark bits are getting lighter and any light bits are getting darker. And this again is all very abstract at the moment. I just want you to understand the different techniques that we're using. Uh, and then when we come to do different uh, kind of filters and different specific types, you'll know all the techniques you need to do in order to create certain effects. And uh, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you something that you would use it for more touching up existing pictures rather than creating your own. Uh, and that's using the dodge and burn tools. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.